Welcome to Chewing the Cud with Mike Benyon Rowe and Nick Charles. Hello. The voice you've just heard is the voice of Simon Peel, who's been involved with Chewing the Cud since we first started here at the mill. Sadly, Simon passed away early on the 18th of January. He is loved and will be missed by a lot of people, including people here. We are sending love to everyone who knew him, and we'll talk about him more in a moment. But he'd want us to keep up with the in innuendo. So he's keeping it up with us. It's Nick. What have you got for us today? This week, I'm talking about someone shocking a drag queen and appeasing Joan at Crawford in Crafty Queens. Ooh. Interesting. We even have a game you can play along with as well. On screen now, you can see our social media. Just search for at the Cud TV. We're now on TikTok as well. And as people who have pop up in our comments go along at the bottom of the screen, it's time for Mike and the Buzz. <laughs> So, as I talked about at the start of the show, Simon Peel sadly passed away. And I know he's left a big hole in TV and radio. Mm -hmm. um, so, you've worked with Simon as well, haven't you? Yes, I have indeed. So, I worked with Simon on a radio station early, uh, and for a couple of years, actually, for four years. And he literally was like the one person you just see around the studio in a little corner, like doing something. Like, Simon, what are you doing? Like, I'm doing work. <laughs> it was very much like that kind of vibe. And he was very. He taught me a lot about technical stuff because when I first started working in radio, I only knew so much. But when it comes to the tech side, he was always the one person to be like, right, you need this wire, you need to get this connector, you need stuff. And, you know, so much, I, his entire life was audio and input output. Mm -hmm. That's the entire thing. And I feel like um, I've learned so much and, you know, he and I has passed. And really, for me, it's really made me realize that, you know, life is so precious. And when someone has touch you in such a good way, you know, and their memory will always be to you for a long time. So indeed, yeah. I mean one to be missed. It will be sadly missed. I mean he started in hospital radio. Yes. Um in the eighties and went commercial radio until he went into nineteen eighty eight. Mm -hmm. He worked at Granada T V as well. Um he it is heartbreaking. He was only fifty four. Yeah. Um I mean a lot of people wouldn't realise this, but Gadio, yeah. which is known across the UK and even the world, starting in two thousand six. Yeah. He was at the forefront of that when it was just on for a couple of days, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. At the top of the Rembrandt right, bar in Manchester. The Rembrandt. Rembrandt, when they first did a couple oh of tiles. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he was there with his longer cable. Just need a longer cable. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> a bit of gaffer tape. Um, he also worked a lot with LGBTV in Studio 29, yeah. who helped produce Chewing the Cud. Yeah. Um, and in the early days of Chewing the Cud, when we were up in a drafty loft, he was there in a corner, giggling along. <laughs> Putting in some input, doing some very technical stuff that I had no idea. Yeah. But um, it made sense though. You had no idea what he was doing, but it made sense. It made sense and it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Which was the key ingredient to what he was like as a person. Exactly. You know, I had no idea what he was doing. I was like, what, Simon? What are you doing? And then it all, it worked. Just know it worked. That was the important part. Exactly. So, yeah. Exactly. And, you know, he's a, a lovely human being as well. Yeah. Always had time for people. And yeah, my, my first time in front of a camera, Simon was there. And he, he was in the background. You film your OnlyFans content? No, it was even before that. Oh. This is, this is early 2000s. Not, not like he would have said no anyway. He's a bit of a good friend. Yeah, he would have helped. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, the angles. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he, he, he was so, you know, it was a calming influence. I was quite nervous. And he's there going, it's okay, just take your time. Yeah. Right, no nonsense, just talk about it. Yeah, so it's going to be missed by a lot of people. I'm going to move on to something. He, he liked to giggle. I do like to giggle. And so did Simon. So, um, <laughs> daytime jobs. Yes. I work in an office. Yes. Yeah, you work in an office kind of environment as well, don't you? Yeah. Right. Getting scheduled breaks and stuff. Yes. Right. Hate those. You, you hate a break? I hate scheduled breaks. Okay. Why, what's the problem with scheduled breaks? I don't know. I feel like sometimes I just, I think I want to have my own time to take my own break. Because sometimes a scheduled break just means I have to go at the exact time. Okay. So how would you like a 30 minute break? Mm. Any time in the day, whenever you need it. Mm. Sounds good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's what Erica Lust has brought out. Erica Lust. Erica Lust. Mm. Um, she's brought out um, basically wank breaks. Right, I heard about <laughs> this. I heard about this the other day. And I, I don't know how I feel about tossing off at work. It's a bit you of You don't a, do it at your desk. I know. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like I've, I've, I've been in offices before and all the bathrooms have been absolutely grotty. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. Like, do I really want to leave my children hanging about these places? You do the math. <laughs> actually your children. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. 
<laughs> you know what I mean. It's like, yeah. it's not, yeah, it's one of those. I think it's a great one because it relieves stress. But 30 minutes, what if I, what if I, what if I want to edge? <laughs> then you'll have to do some of it on your lunch. I don't know. I, don't know. <laughs> I think 30 minutes is not, not long enough. What if I want to enjoy it? I think it's just a case of knocking one out kind of moment. I know. But I think still. it's a functional rather than an enjoyable. Yeah, but also, don't, I know, I know about other people. I know I get a bit sleepy. When Just I'm done. Yeah. Why would I want to go back to work after that? I need a nap. Mm. I'd see what she's getting at here. Oh, yeah. But do you think do you think that do you think the UK being the UK will embrace this culture? I don't know. Well she's embraced it. Well, and, I mean, staff have embraced it apparently while embracing themselves. A permanent policy. A permanent policy. She's been trying it for a couple of years. Wow. And she said it's working really well. We're just gonna bring it in for everybody. Wow. I mean, yeah. do you know what? I I I, I don't know. Have I, ever, have I ever masturbated at a workplace? Maybe once or twice, but I used to work in a gym. Okay, that's you know, understandable. When you're all that natural testosterone is built up, you need to explore your bodily fluids. It's a lovely feeling. <laughs> so I, I can get behind it, I can get okay. behind it, I can okay. get behind it. Yeah. But now if you're working in Parliament or something. That's like one that watched on the, in the House of Parliament, was watching porn, wasn't it? So it's only yes, one step he away. was watching porn in the House of Parliament. And they said he was looking at tractors. Do you ever, do you ever, do you ever, do you ever wonder if Rishi knocks one out? I, in Parliament. I, I think he's. Let's just say he done it. I think he does a crying wank in the back. Oh my God, not this. Yeah. I'm just going to sip this water. Yeah, water. <laughs> and while mm. Nick imagines Rishi Shearer like, hunch double <laughs> going, fiscal policy. <laughs> well, he's the rest of us, so why not? Um, if you want to interact with us on social media, it's at the Cud TV. And now we go to our story of the week. You and I are both single. Yes. Yes, and I, I am a, an avid user of networking applications. Networking like applications. Yes, networking. The Orange Demon is not an application for networking. No, I just couldn't do more networking. Okay. Because I've got the orange. I've, I've got fifty. So the Orange the, Demon. Uh huh. You have the pink slip. Uh huh. Then you have the band of woods. Uh huh. I was going to just. Okay, so. I've got. Uh, oh, okay. So uh, we have. Uh, oh. Okay, so you have every app on this <laughs> Yeah, I will. Oh my god. Because there isn't, a, there isn't a hookup version of Just Eat. You can't go, hmm, today I'm in the mood for this. You have to have a specific okay. profile and different ones. So. Okay, fair enough. But That's fine. doesn't all the apps do the same thing? They, Not give you anything? Different people. Okay. Different people can reject me. <laughs> Um, that sounds like some trauma I need to work on. It's no trauma. <laughs> <laughs> Just block me. It makes my life easier. It does make it easier. It's going through. Um, yeah, I feel like I, I, I have awful. I have. I, I recently went on a date actually. Um, um, if you, if you watch, if you're watching this, you, it was a terrible date. Have some touch it out. Um, I basically went on a date um, mm -hmm. recently and. Um, the guy, food, the guy, food, drinks, or cinema. We had of. actually uh, cinema is not a date. I think that's I boring. Some people do to cinema. Just yeah. For um, we went to went for a meal at a Turkish restaurant in Liverpool. Nice. It was lovely. Mm. And um, first things first, he said is we date went really well. We really get each other up. But one, he said he don't. Okay. And secondly, he doesn't do small talk. Those two things are for me was like this is a lot. now he has me really me, poor oral skills then yeah me everything. being me and i feel like small talk is a great communication builder when you're getting to know someone mm -hmm. the not <laughs> one i can't get behind that because i think oral <laughs> sex is half the f***ing <laughs> job <laughs> anyway um, this is a story about um, annie goodwin who's from seattle who has had what she has described such a horrific date that she's not going to date again in 2024 mm. right and this is because what's happened is she had a, a hinge date her car failed to start, so her hinge date, gallantly, and I like saying it that way, picked her up in his car, nice. drove over to the restaurant, yeah. went to the bar, got a drink, down the drink, went to the toilet, and didn't come back. So he's picked her up, driven to a restaurant, and she was upset because he didn't take her home. What? That apparently is the worst date of oh her my life. God, girl. She was stuck in a restaurant where she hadn't yet eaten. Girl, no. Right, with a bar, going, oh, I can't get home now. <laughs> One word, two syllables, Uber. <laughs> right. I think first, first and foremost, if someone if someone picked me up from a date, mm -hmm. picked me up for a date, I think it's I think it's nice. However, if someone gets to a bar, has a drink, and leave, maybe they didn't they wasn't interested or they had an emergency, who knows? But I wouldn't say it's the worst date. Exactly. That's... I'm still going to eat and I'll get Uber home. Exactly. exactly. Or I'll get takeaway to go. Like why? I, I would be in the restaurant making it making a scene, see what I can get for free. Like, I've just been stood up on a date. He brought me here. He's gone off. I'm going to have to get an Uber. <sighs> free pudding, free pudding. No, it's not pudding. awful. I feel, like, <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like maybe her standards were very high. I, I think she's not had an actual truly awful first date. Yeah. 
where people have turned up and gone. Ah. So how was how was she going to how was she going to get to the date if she didn't if he didn't pick her up? That, exactly. She, a car broke down. He came and picked her up. He went, you know what? This is mm. the mean left. No, she's no, she's just looking for excuse. Give over, girl. Get in taxi. Home. Get the bus. Do you want bus fare? This is very aggressive <laughs> at this poor girl who can't keep a man in dresses for half an hour. <laughs> um, but that's all from the bus this week. Um, what do you think? Would you would you have managed if she if she picked you up? If someone picked you up and took you on for a date? If someone picked me up for a date, I'd be very happy. Mm. As long as they were paying the bill. Fair, fair. Coming up after this short break. Nick brings us a look at some celebrity news in the showbiz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Nick and Mike. Now let's get ready for the showbiz with Nick. You love a bit of Stefano's mom. I, I, I'm more of a stiffler than a stiffler mum. Is it yeah. stiffler or stifflers? I, I knew you like it stiff. That's the end. That's the end game here, which is important. It's very important. Right. So as you might know, mm -hmm. um, if you're not a fan of the White Lotus, you must have known Jennifer Coolidge. She's like Jennifer an Coolidge. iconic, iconic woman. No, I love Jennifer Coolidge. She recently thanks the Evil Gays for White Lotus, which is a great series that I personally love and enjoy. Okay. And sh she was, I think it was literally um, at the, was it the Emmys? No, Emmys recently, yeah, yeah. Was it the Emmys? Yes, it mm -hmm. was. It. And she was just thanking the, the gays and how, you know, how, how much. I feel like she, she's a MILF, 100%. From since, her character was always very milfy from like back in the day. There she is, look at her. I want a hot dog real bad. <laughs> <laughs> See, I love her in, um, in Legally Blonde. Oh, yes. Ben and Snap. Ben and Snap. Snap. Um, I think she deserves everything. I feel, like it, I feel like Hollywood took a very long time to realise the greatness of Jennifer. Because mm -hmm. I feel like she has been doing the math for a long time. She's working hard. She's been starring in so many shows. Yeah. And I feel finally now she's finally getting the thing. And of course, it's us. Our community that is pushing hard to be the best that she can be. Yeah. So, yeah. What's your, what, do you, what do you think? Are you thankful that she tagged the gays? I, the I, evil gays? I do like her. Right. Um, do, you, do, do you have an impression of Jennifer Coolidge? <laughs> I can try. Do it. <laughs> oh, God, I want a hot dog real bad. Okay, that's awful. <laughs> you try then. No, I can't do it. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> but I know my limitations. Hot call in the pet kettle. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I know my limitations. Do you, do you like The White Lotus? I've not watched it. I've just been shouted at in my ear. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've just been sacked. <laughs> yes. I know she's dead. Mike, you're ruining the show. What? She's not dead yet. Oh. She is. She's dead. She's not coming back. I know, but it was nice to like... But you haven't seen it. No, but I don't know that she's dead. <laughs> Because she said in the, the thank you speech, because I watched it because I'm that, that person, uh -huh. um, she was saying that, you know, she was thanking the director and going, and I'm definitely dead, yeah? Yeah. I mean, I mean, she can come back. How's she going to come back? She's dead. They could probably, like, like do, like, a what happened before she died kind of thing. Like a prequel. Yeah, like a prequel. It'll work. Okay. I mean, the gays love her. Has I mean, to be fair, has she been on Drag Race yet? I feel like they're missing a trick there with Jennifer Coolidge. I think she'd be great. I don't think RuPaul would pay for her. Mm, no. I think she looked better than RuPaul on the set, that's probably why. It's not difficult. Ooh. And moving on. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how RuPaul died. Uh -huh. <laughs> right, in other news, mm -hmm. I'm a huge fan of Jennifer Lopez. Okay. Since she was in Salina back in the day. So, Miss J-Lo, J J-Lo from Rock, she recently surprised, uh, she was recently surprised by a drag queen called J Joe Lopez on LA on stage and she was right. absolutely shook it. Right. I would. Imagine, imagine a drag queen. Imagine a, a, look at her. Look at that stunning woman. Do you look know at what? how much airbrushing has gone to that. Hey, 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 hey. That woman is sucking Ben Affleck off. And we're both single. Uh-huh. Think, think about that. Okay. She's winning. Is she? It's Ben Affleck. Would you say no to Ben Affleck? I would say no to Ben Affleck. Really? Got a weird shaped head. When the lights are off, do you care? Yes. I don't like the lights off. <laughs> do you not like the lights off when you sleep with men? No. Or women? I don't know. 
You might, might be assuming, I need to be able to see what I'm doing. I might be assuming your sexuality I, might I, be secretly straight. I, I regretfully have to take my glasses off sometimes. I'm like, but I need to see what I'm up to. Do you get steam, do you guys get steamy or do you just get sex? in the way? So you tell me you weren't sucking Ben Affleck off at all. I would for the moment. Okay, let's go through a few of Jennifer Lopez's ex ex boyfriend. Okay. Mark, Mark Anthony. Who's that then? What did he do? He's a Spanish singer. Ah. Um, let's, who else, who else is... You say Les Dawson, then. <laughs> who, else, who? I thought you might say Les Dawson. Is that a porn star? No. Um, who else, who else did she date? She did, she did, she did some other man. Um, she was with someone, and she, she was with some man and she left him for, to, anyway. Okay, anyway, was she, I would, no, I wouldn't suck him off anyway, either. She <laughs> right. was very happy because she got surprised by this drag queen called Jay Lopez. And look how happy she looked. Oh, dear. I mean, I mean, right. I'm going to say this very loudly. I might, I might get, I might get stabbed in the head by this. If you're, if you're going, to, if you if your idea is to go to BJ Lo, mm -hmm. at least look the part. Oh, she's she's tributing acting. She, tribute acts never look the same. True, true. I saw a little mix once. Tribute act at Pride. A little mix. It was a little act. mess. It was a disaster um, because it was. Uh, it, the girls, it was just, anyway, it was a mess, but good for J-Lo. <laughs> good for J-Lo meeting Joe jo, jo Lopez. Good for her. So now we know that if J-Lo can't perform on tour, she could just send uh, Alter Ego, Joe Lopez. Okay. Good shot. I think it's a bit of a publicity stunt. Mm, well. Because she, she got a microphone around, so she was ready to sing, wasn't she? J-Lo sings? I, I believe she sings. I thought she's an actress. Does she not sing? Waiting for tonight? Oh... When you were behind be, my be, arm. Be. Yeah. I um, Ella Cool J. Oh, it's just one moment. Just... Oh, my love is all I had. Yeah, where she's in the third goal, walking through this New York being all sad and homage. So I'm just you... thinking of the one she did with um, Ella Cool J. Oh, do you like, do you, have you touched yourself to Ella Cool J? Yes, before? he was my coming out experience. Well, my realisation experience. MTV phenomenon. So you like bald black men? Apparently so. I like men, I'm not really. This is why I have hair. <laughs> I like them tall as well. You like tall men? Yeah. Do you climb like a tree? I climb like a tree and slide down like a beanpole. This is why no one buys your porn, you know. That's why so no don't sell porn. it. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Benny Dates co-star, Michael Who's Roasting. Ooh. So Miss Benny, is that the, um, that's the glamorous woman, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. So what do you think? Show. What's your thoughts? Um, I mean, he's not unattractive. Mm. He's a handsome, uh, handsome young man. He plays a geek in the show. Have you, have you watched that? Glamorous no. or Glorious or whatever it's called. I'll be honest. I'll be very honest. Spit in my hole and ruin me. And what about him? <laughs> 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 so You ain't trying to catch me on this television today. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, you need to watch the, sh the show that they're in because it's brilliant. There's a lot of... I've seen bits of I've seen bits and Lots pieces of handsome men. I've seen bits um, and pieces. But he plays a geek, which is quite cute. I think they're definitely dating with that kind of pose. So am I right in thinking they're trans, right? Miss Benny's trans, yeah. Right. And her co-star, and they're dating. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Good for her. There must be some good sex. I, in my mind, I'm just thinking he just... <laughs> pitching it, aren't you? <laughs> he just rags her hair. Okay. Mm. Mm. I might need a 30 minute my brain break. Um, can someone send me this picture to my phone? If I could just like, you know. Mm, it's a spicy day today. Oh dear. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, would you say no? Would you say, can you keep me out of bed? No. I don't think so. Both of them are stunning. I think... I think there's, some, there's something about men that tan easily that just gives me the oomph. I just want to ride you like a Wednesday. Ride you like a Wednesday? Yeah, because you know, it's, 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 we know how Wednesday starts with a long line, goes up, then comes down, and then goes back up. The like how, in, you know, it starts in, with the letter W. You know in Cardi B, <laughs> you know in WAP, Cardi B and Megan, when she said... I've never heard that song all the way through, you never because heard it's beeped more often okay. than that. Well, in the lyrics, she said, I wanna ri when I ride his d I will spell, spell my name. Okay. So I thought the idea is, although I don't think I could do that. Ride, ride, no, ride can spell my name. Sucking can spell your name. Oh, see, that's what you need. That's a thing too. Uh huh. Yeah, but I don't have that. I don't have a long tongue. You can't really spell. You can't really spell Nick with in your mouth. 
like unless you lick lick down up and then end. But how do you do this? How do you make the C and the K? It, I'm not going my to tell you. I'm flip. not going to tell you. <laughs> this isn't. My doesn't this isn't that science. What that kind is. of amphibian are you? Huh? I'm not amphibian. How are you? How how are you spelling Mike? Well, my full, my full name is Michael James Edward Benjamin Rowe. It takes oh, a long mm -mm, time. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. <laughs> is this how you? Is this how you keep the men? I don't keep them. Well, they're not. Well, they're not here. No, so. I don't keep. I get rid of them. Okay, so let I'm, me, I'm single by choice. Let me ask you something. Other people's choices, but it's still by choice. So okay, <laughs> so Miss Benny, Miss Benny's um, partner comes over. Uh huh. And so you're gonna just his <laughs> and no. spell your name. Not just. Oh, you're one to watch. You know. I am. You're a dirty bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all for the showbiz this week. <laughs> I don't know why people are laughing. Um, so stick around, because coming up, we're going to play a little game in our game of the week. You're watching Tune the Cud. And this week, we're going to be playing Let's Get Quizzical. And this one is for the intrepid explorer that is Nick. So Ooh. Hip hop. Very excited. Right, should I go? Yeah, go on. Fine, if I must. Game of the week. So we're going to play Let's Get Quizzical. Let's get quizzical, quizzical. Um, and this is where Nick's going to ask me a question. I have to try and get it right. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> I am ready. Wonderful. I feel like every, t every time we play this game, you never get anything right, so. I, I'm, I'm very intelligent, just not necessarily smart. Hmm. Deba debatable. Mm -hmm. Names. Britain's largest World War II bomber. Bomber? Bomber. Yeah. Oh, bomber. Bomber. <laughs> World War II, that would be Dean. <laughs> <laughs> um, that would be the Lancaster. Um, full name, please. The Lancaster bomber. Nope. <laughs> Lancaster Frank Sidebottom the Bomber. No, there's something to the start of it. I mean, I'll, the... give, you, I'll give you half a point though. You got half. What a was point. the name of it? Avro. 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 Like Levine. A V R. He was a scared of boys. No, like that's Avro Levine. That Avro. Yeah. <laughs> Avro. 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 Avro Lancaster. Okay, so I was right then. Mmm, debatable. Mm -hmm. So you get like half a point. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Name the film these characters appear in. Okay. Mrs. Robinson. Jules Winfield. Alex Forrest. Captain Quint. Captain who? Quint. Quint. Yeah. Do you know Quint? Do you know what, do you know what Quint means in 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 Urban Dictionary? No. So Quint is like when you like. Use your either anal or vaginal gland, and you and you breathe in. That's a quint. Like so when this. you suck things up with your bum. Like you know, like like this. So it's like it quints. That's a quint. Okay. <laughs> Learn something new every day. <laughs> That's the quint. I thought it was a type of. Can I make your Can I make your whole quint like that? Wink. Quint. It can yawn. Like that's a quint. I can hold with mine. La 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 You can make your whole quint? Just start out of my mouth. Just saying. I love that for you. Anyway. Marge Marge Gunderson and Bunny Parker. That would be the graduate. For who? What? Which one? Because they have they have six characters here. So Mrs. Robinson's from the graduate. Correct. That's it. That's your lot. That's it. That's your lot. Fine. I'll give. I'll. I'll. Oh, give, what the rest of them? I'll give you the point. But the rest of it was Jules Winfield was from Pulp Fiction. Okay. Alex Forrest is from Fatal Attraction. Captain Quint is from Jaws. Marge oh. Gunderson is from Fargo, and Bonnie Parker is Bonnie and Clyde. All right. Mm. Oh well. How do you feel about this question? Go on. On which Balearic Island was Rafael Nadal born? 
Was that not the one by Torval and Dean? What? Torval and Dean. Ice dancing. Ice? Uh, figure skating in the yeah. Olympics, Torval and Dean did the, the Balearic and it slides on an end. <laughs> no, it's a Spanish island. Oh. I swear it's a Bal Bal Oh, I'm being told that's the Balero. Balearic, Balearic island. Is, I say it's like, a, it's like the Ibiza. It's in Spain, Balearics. Yes. I'm going to say, I don't know. Ooh, Mike, you should know this. Mm, if you were, if you were, if you're a fan of traveling, I don't know where people are born. <laughs> I'll go around, around travel going, and this house is where Ralph was born. You ready for the answer? Yes, I am. He was born in Mallorca. Mallorca. I know. I know. I know that Mallorca is famous for its pottery. I've never been to Mallorca. Have you not? No. Um, Interesting. It's different. It's unusual. Oh, I don't even know any of these questions. Sorry. <laughs> I was like, what is this? You get the, the written down, right? Um, no, I'm just going <laughs> to... I'm going to keep going. But they're written down. You don't need to know them. I know, but I don't think you would have known either. Well, that you can say about anything in that box. Okay. All right. Name the South African surgeon who carried out the first heart transplant operation. <laughs> Oscar Pistorius. No! Isn't, the, isn't, isn't he the guy with the, the leg? <laughs> the guy with the leg! Um, the, the Paralympian that shot his partner to death. Yeah, yeah. The, oh, oh. I'm going to say something, but I'm going to keep it off air because I might get cancelled. Just say it. We'll cut it out. I actually don't mind if he, if he, if he shot his <laughs> me as well. Oh, he's he's, he's going he's gonna to fit in a weird way. I would take his leg off and hit me with it. Which is to hit me with it. Anyway, what was the answer? <laughs> it was Christian Bernard. Oh, Bernard? Bernard. Chris Bernard. Christian Bernard. Right, you ready for your next question? I am. Da, 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 da. Ooh. What was the name of the Sex Pistols' first single? I'm going to shoot on you. Ooh. You're going to shoot on me? Is that not what they said? No. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I... You want to be in our gang? No. You're a glitter. Sex Pistols talking about glitter. I don't think so. No, no, they, no, no. They were more like grungy, right? I swear they to They were. I, I just I thought of a glam rock person that I shouldn't have thought about. Um, well, the answer was Anarchy in the UK. In the UK. Anarchy in the UK. In the UK. All right. You're crap at this game today, you know. What's going on? Today? Usually, Mike, you're usually on top form. I'm kind of disappointed. Next question. Okay. <clears throat> Which country won the Eurovision Song Contest in 2004? Norway. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Not far off. Mm. It was around then. They had hard rock hallelujah by Lord. Yeah. Rock and roll angel. Da, 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 da. I, 2004, I wasn't in the UK yet, so I couldn't. I, couldn't, I would have been the awful answer in this. You know, oh. they actually don't show. They actually don't show the Eurovision back in the Caribbean because it's, it's not part of Europe. It's not. Well, I mean, Australia is in Eurovision now. Yeah, that's that's just because they, they can. I mean, do they show it? Do it? Do they show it in Commonwealth common colonies? I don't think so. But oh, maybe in the British Virgin Islands, maybe. Mm. Nobody in there. It was Ukraine. Oh, Ukraine. Great. With what song? Uh, they didn't say. They didn't say. Half a story. They didn't say. But, Half but a I, job. Mean, I mean, I mean, all right. Let's go for another one. What points? How much points are you on? Hmm? How much points are you on? Not many. Okay. Let's go again. Okay. Which English club were the runners up in the Europa League final of 2010? Because you know, Mike, you love balls. I do. You I love, love seeing I love, balls. I love seeing 11 men jump. get hot and sweaty for 90 minutes. Isn't that your standard Sunday evening anyway? Um, <laughs> let me think. Europa 2010? Mm hmm. British club? Which English club, yeah? 
Manchester City. Mm-mm. Manchester United. Mm-mm. Liverpool. Nope. Everton. Nope. Tottenham Hotspur. Nope. Mm-mm. Arsenal. Nope. Sheffield Wednesday. Nope. Sheffield United. Nope. Cambridge United. Nope. Bognor FC. Nope, it was Fulham. <laughs> you were far from it. Arsenal's near Fulham. No. Arsenal is. No. Do you know London very well? It's nearer than Manchester City. Fulham is more towards Hammersmith, which is on the south side. Arsenal is not. Right, so <laughs> if you're driving from the centre of London, right, to Arsenal or to Fulham, they're both closer to each other than Manchester. I mean, I don't drive. I got close. You re- did you? I was in the same city. I don't, I don't, I don't know how, I don't know, I don't know. I think you're, I think you're on your own with that one, never mind. Mm-hmm. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> let's, let's get go one, one more out. Right, <clears throat> you must get this one because you're British. Who won the War of the Roses? So, do you want the, the answer you'll have on the card or the correct answer? Right. Because the correct answer is the, the Stuart clan. Okay. Okay, which is not the answer you'll have there. Right. Okay. Um, or the Windsors. Okay. You, it would be Lancastrians. Do you know what that is? I gave you an A for effort there because it took you six questions to get that right, to get it right. Okay. Which means you are f***ing the wrong kind of f***. You know why? Usually when, no, usually when you f***, you get some kind of knowledge, right? No, you don't. Yeah, you do. No, the only knowledge you get is that person doesn't wash their bell end properly. Yeah, but I, f- I think smegma is good for, the, good for the brain as well. No, it's not. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh. Well, I, I well. Oh, well. <laughs> While Nick snacks down on his smegma deal, um, we're going to go to a break. <laughs> Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we take a deep breath, relax, and get ready to have something shoved in us, which is lovely. It's Crafty Queens. So for Crafty Queens, I guess I'm going to be doing something today to show how crafty I am, right? Yeah, yeah. Amazing. What am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know, I don't know. That's always no. fun, isn't it? So I'm just going to make something out of this. So here we have a trusted plastic hanger and we are going to use some cat mitting wool. Okay. And we're just going to make it look cute. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. So, so you're this, going to... Is take... this we're going to be wrapping the, yes. the string around the hanger to make it a fabric yes, hanger? Yes, because as Joan hanger. Collins said, no more wire hangers. So we're using plastic yes. ones. Yeah. So all you're going to do is you're going to wrap your, your, your hanger uh-huh. in wool. Okay. And you're going to make it look very pretty. And at okay. the end of this lovely, after it's all been wrapped like a mummy, uh-huh. you're going to use a little, little glue gun and design and make it look real cute. Okay, cool. So, off your pop. Okay, cool. So I'm just I'm going to start gluing stuff straight away because you just glue stuff right away. Well, I, I'm going to glue the the string onto the to the the hanger so it, uh, it's it's attached. Uh, I nearly did a swear. Oh, did you? <laughs> nearly. You're I swearing did. on TV. I know. Oh very no. Bad. Oh no. Oh dear. I yes. know nothing about. Um. I don't know. What do, do you do? You consider yourself a crafty person, Mike? Um, so this part of the show always teaches me that no is the answer to that question. Okay. I'm not a crafty person. I am a person who likes to buy things that have been made. Oh wow. Yeah. Uh-huh. Did, are you an arty person normally? No, I'm no? not. Actually, I'm very, I'm very much not an arty person. I think. Um, I mean, I, I, I used to, I used to draw the life I used to want as a child. Okay. But I never but look how that look how that turned out. And what kind of things did you draw? I used to draw like living in a big mansion. Okay. You know, and you know, like we I mean, like in Saltburn. I am aware of Saltburn. Right. I just wanted a nice little a nice little nice little house. With a bathtub with water to drink in. Yeah, nice a nice Jacob Lardy bathtub to drink in. You know, it was it was great. I didn't get any of that. What I get was just trauma. 
I think we all got trauma. I mean, to be fair, if you're drinking bath water, you've got a bit of trauma there. Um, I did, mean, I've done worse than drink someone's cummy bath water. Did you hear how they made that look like cummy bath water? No, what did they use? It's yogurt, milk and water mixed together. Oh God, a lot of right. work. Um, and he had to do it like eight or 10 times. Oh God. And every time he had a different face and he did it a different way. Oh wow. So they could pick the right one. I want to see those outtakes. I don't know about you, but I, 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 I was really hoping they were going to have them some, some really big gay tension. Like I was really hoping for them to like. Apparently, apparently tension. Word, word on the word on the street is that they cut the kiss scene out between him and him and um, Jacob Elordi. Um, no, but he, they left the riding scene in. The riding. The riding scene. Oh, that was great. <laughs> Hello. I love some someone on top of me got spit, using spit as lube, baby. Mm. I am so turned on right now. Not on the this crafty queen's baby can see, but you know, <laughs> you know. Uh -huh. there's something there. <laughs> Is there a movement? Yeah, the waters are flowing. Okay. No, <laughs> so I think it was great. For anyone who hasn't seen Swalburn, please go watch it. And please don't watch it with your parents. Watch it with your parents. No, it's, it's fun for all the family. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Right, and I say that because when the first Thor movie came out, mm -hmm. my parents and I went to watch it on Boxing Day. The first Thor movie? The first, uh, Chris Hemsworth. Oh, wow. And yeah, that was an interesting watch. Did, did you, touch your, you touch yourself next to your parents? Wow. No, I didn't, but I wanted to. Oh, <laughs> wow. He's so hot. Oh, God. Yeah. You, t you, t you think, you think What'd Chris you say then, Paul? You think, oh, you right think Chris, Chris Hemsworth is hot? Yeah. Do you not like Liam? You think Liam is hot? I, I like all the Hemsworths, even the, the ugly one they keep in the box. Oh God, no. Do you know that, do you know that there's a Ford Jonah's brother and no one pays attention to him because he's fat? Yeah. That's terrible. It is terrible. And that's the world we live in, unfortunately. But he's kind of good looking. He is a good looking guy. I mean, I, I would not say no. I mean, I wouldn't say don't say any Jonah brothers. Do I don't know? know all their names. Uh, Nick. Neither do you. <laughs> Nick. Nick. Nick and Nick. I don't know. They're all, they're all, they're all. I know one isn't like, I know one was married to Sophie Turner from Game of Thrones, Sansa. I know he was married to her and then they broke okay. up. I think that's about <sighs> it. Right, you know what? This Crafty Queen, I, I, this looks like a, like a, like a fish line at the minute. Okay. It's giving fish line. I, I, I'm getting nautical from mine too. Right, can I go anywhere with this? Because I, I feel like I'm just going to make it look spicy. You're going to make it look spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is boohoo.com. That's what it's given. In the sale. <laughs> In the sale. In the sale. In the sale. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna spooch it on make her make it make her a bit more spicy now. Let's see. Okay. Let's see what I can do here. I'm not I'm not made for this craft. I'm not I'm not made for I'm not made for this life. You're not made for this life. I'm not made for this life. This arts and craft stuff is not for me. And I say I'm, I'm enjoying myself here. It's just it's oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. it's quite cathartic. I'm gonna use the word cathartic. 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 I like that word. Soothing. I mean something waggling my face. <laughs> I'm just doing random shit now, hoping for the best. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I navigate life. To be fair, uh, honestly. I mean, if you were to go on a first date and a guy asked you to do like a crafty queen, what would you say? No. <laughs> you I would say no. Um, this is my taxi. I'm going. Oh. 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 Right. I feel. I, I feel like. I feel like. I know where I'm going with this now. It's going to stop. It's no. It's going to stop. It's going somewhere. No. <laughs> I feel like this kind of thing they'll give you to give you for sale in a in a in a gift shop. Hmm? I don't think they'll sell in a gift shop. Gift shop. What do you think? I don't think. I'm sorry. It's a gift shop. Does she really? I don't know. Don't don't quote don't quote me. 
<laughs> don't, you're the one saying I it. To, I don't want a policia coming to my house and saying Nick Charles said this. I don't think they care if she's... If she's selling, um, she's, she's selling like British posters and stuff. Okay. Right. I think my crafty creep... How do I cut this? Hmm? How do I cut this? <laughs> <laughs> Is there scissors? In the word of Basement Jacks, good luck, good luck. I'm not just All right, right, okay. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna cut it at all. But what you see here is what you get. So what I'm gonna have is she's about to be, she's about to be kind of thing, okay? So call that out, call that out right there. I've got murdered in the dance floor, man. <laughs> With a lovely penis. Like a lovely penis? With a lovely penis. Oh, wow. That's not the way you want to talk. That's the way you want to talk. That's the way you want to talk. I love the Irish penis in my life. I don't think it's surprised that much. You know, I think it's definitely got a lot of money to say. Yeah, that's great. The concentration in Nick's face. <laughs> I know. Living my, living my best life. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Fresh from Paris Fashion Week, you have the Christmas tree hanger. Serving, serving mummy realness straight out of the house of Chanel in um, the Northern Quarter. They could never. Look at that. Look at her. She's giving. She's giving, honey. She's giving and she really She's giving. great. She's well designed. She's well groomed. And she, she also comes with a stand. Look at her. Winning. If you can't get any peen, any vagine, or anything in between, just be a crafty queen. That's great. Right. I think one of us has done very well there. I think one of us has done very well. I don't think it's you. I don't think it's you either. Mine's beautiful. Mine's, mine's done artistically. It's nice and neat. Mm -hmm. Mine's lovely and sparkly and neat. Look. Oh, neat. Yes, yes. Yours. But it, this is this, right? So this is giving Wilkinson. This is Wilkinson's? giving straight out of avant-garde in Chanel in France. Do you not know, see? This is giving the Louvre. You can never. The Louvre? This is avant-garde, honey. You better work. That's that's giving. <laughs> that's giving. You're doing smack in the Louvre. It's giving the Louvre. It's giving and that's that. It's giving me hepatitis. Ah, not this. Leave my, me, leave my crafty queen work alone. Mm-hmm. Every time I come here, I get used, abused, and left. And we don't even charge you for the privilege. What a shame. You lucky? What a shame. Yeah. <laughs> That's almost the end of the show. Just remember to join us on our social media at The Cod TV. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye. It's just... This is out It's trash, man. No. It's giving... Look at her. Look at her. You can see her on a runway. She's giving.